recording now. Chris and Juan, yay! The podcast, yay! You know what that that song reminds me of? Or the first? I think the first time I legitimately remembered it mm. is from that heavy metal animated movie. You remember that one? Mm-mm. You seen that one? Metalocalypse? No, heavy metal. No, I never seen that. Damn, for real, dude! You're having some fucking. Was it memory loss? Because I swear we were watching that one time at the crib. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Nah. I swear you got like you got called and you're like, oh yeah, I'm watching this movie with Juan. What the fuck? Tall tales, bro. That never. It happened. was like that the the one with the orb, the evil orb, that's like transcends through I all think these I know, stories. I know of the movie. It's the one they parodied on South Park, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that, dude. Damn, bro. I think you were just really big. I like, probably do have fucking memory loss. My frontal lobe has been contracting for the past six months. Short-term memory it's loss. probably all the water, dude. No, I think it's the sleep deprivation. Oh, there you go. I've been yeah. getting four-hour chunks of sleep. You need to sleep, dude. I, I will, but it's not at the right times. True. Yeah. So you're just in this loop. It just feels like you're in a dream, but you're you're just alive. I'm losing my memory. Like you associate reality with your dreams, so you know when you wake up from a dream, you just completely forget. Type so shit. that's just <laughs> where half the time I'm like popping into reality. I'm already like a couple hours into my shift. I'm like, oh damn, I'm here now. Yeah, shocking. Probably still thinking about some shit I was thinking about when I was sleeping. Huh. Good God, I feel like I can barely hear myself. Oh, I don't. I can't. I'm not sure how it's gonna sound. When we export it. I don't know. That might be better. Is that better? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> Another oh, episode. Back again. Back again. Yay. Yay. Yeah, I was just thinking about <laughs> that that scene at the end of Heavy Metal, even though you probably don't rem- remember, Mm-mm. have no recollection, but there's this scene where this, this orb's about to explode in the house. And they like slow mo it, and then right as the house explodes, they shift it to like a a prop house, and they like, blow up what the, the fuck? prop house. Yeah, I definitely don't remember that. that shit was I would have remembered mind some blowing. shit like that. Mind blowing. That sounds sick. Super sick. Definitely a movie made for people to be on substances and watch it. Yeah. Fuck. I was thinking about that today. I think we're gonna have to just start doing this podcast high as fuck. Huh? Bust like, out those those um those snatch pills, dude. Dude, what the fuck, bro? Are the, you a federal agent, dude? Bust out the fucking what the hell, dude? The... You just ruined our public image. <laughs> yeah, dude, we don't pills do are pills. A, pills are a widely accepted uh, commodity these days. Yeah, true. Me and Sticky are battling with mental illness, so I we was... take pills to feel good. I was actually the talking. Fuck, bro. <laughs> I was talking to my Lyft driver about that. Giving people the wrong idea. What did the Lyft driver say? She was saying that uh, her sister has oh. been addicted and on and off type thing. That's sad that she's talking to you about it. I mean, that's really fucking her up. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 
I, I brought up like the homeless situation here. You should have brought up me, bro. I've been on the fence for a fucking hot one, dude. She was talking Losing to me about shit. Damn. I'm fen- fentied up. Fentied? I'm fentied up. If I was a fentanyl guy, you would never see me. I would only be sleep. Damn. Even without that shit, I'd be sleepy. Damn. Sleepy baby. Those are the times we're living in. The fentanyl. Huge craze. I can't understand the appeal of that shit. It's super wild. I don't know. I seen that there were... Uh, Supposedly you just get finessed into drug addiction. I seen that the they're planning drugs on money so like you walk around like some little area like a like a work lunch break area and there's just like a dollar folded and if you pick it up it has fentanyl so it could either like get you addicted or like kill you what in the fuck some bro? weird that sounds like some fake news fear tactics, it is bro. it is it is some partly fake news I've but i've never heard no shnite like that uh, it sounds I'm like a fentanyl a... fucking connoisseur oh. <laughs> I know all the fentanyl action in town, dude, uh, and I've never heard of that. He's a fentanyl aficionado. I bet in the future they're going to make like a kind of realistic documentary type picture, and it's just going to be called Fentanyl, the fucking story of fentanyl. They always do. They always find a way. Like, um, with, like, your favorite sports star, how they do, like, a background, like, I was thinking stories Chris untold. Pratt. Chris Pratt. Huh, to, like, giving a recount Just of, like, all the fentanyl. fentanyl. Just, or, I mean, it's like a dr- dramatic reenactment, though, like. Oh, true. Actors acting out the story of fentanyl. Oh, yeah. Like an art piece, like a modern That'll be, like, 2030-ish. 2030-ish. Yeah, like some new age ballet kind of like <laughs> yeah, art. Exactly. <laughs> it's on ice. Fentanyl yeah. on ice. Yeah. That would be sick. Fentanyl on ice. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Special huh. guest Special in the house. Special guest, Sonny. You trying to hop in here, Sonny? Yeah. I can set you up. Sonny fucking dethroned Sticky Dick last night. Kicked his I was, ass off the I had, a, I had a dip. I was like, I can't sleep on the ground tonight. Yeah, but I slept at home. I woke up and I was, or I didn't wake up. I was like, got I gotta, de- I gotta go. You got dethroned, my like boy. It was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we were smoking <laughs> a lot of smoking. checks. Yeah. All those chucks we were smoking. Them gosh darn check boys. The chuck will do it to you, man. Yeah, let me get you set up real quick. It's kind of quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little better. Hello, hello. There it goes. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. Back at it. All right, there we go. Yeah, he, yeah, he zone. got Sunny on, on the motherfucking mic now. Sunny in the podcast. Impromptu, Sunny. The ash is all over me now, dude. <laughs> Gotta, like, just hang this, like, somehow. Really straight like that. We got this cup right here just been ashing into this thing. Okay. Yeah, I haven't smoked for a bit here. Tell tell us about how you haven't been smoking for a bit. Talking talking to the uh, mic. Coming from like like spurs of like blazing. Like blazing like every other day. When I or when I was living here, dude, it was just like changing that habit over there. That shit was just more so like like cold turkey. You know, it was a, it was an overall improvement. You feel? Uh, yeah, I think so. Like motivation, I don't know. People say it's bullshit sometimes, but people have their own opinions about it. There's one dude at work. He'd like always talk about uh, like dabs and shit, and um, he was just uh, always talking about it. And like I kind of gave him like a reality check, like a, like an asshole, you know. You told him he was a fucking heroin addict? Uh, in a way, I was like, damn, bro, that's all you talk about, just this and that? Mm, just, just, like, that's all. all. The, yeah, that's all yeah. you had in mind. I yeah. Like, I was like, fuck. Like, this I'm so this ready is, to go take as a dab. Much, as much as I love weed, to, I don't I don't know about to death, but it seems like it's going to be that way. As much as I love weed, uh, you'll never see me talking about that shit out in public, bro. I don't know. That or, like, I would just say, like, talking about, like, rigs and shit. Or at, at work is even worse. Uh, it's, like, even more like, bro, I'm good. This one guy, I was uh, recently at work. We had to do some dumb shit, so a bunch of other people from other districts like came in to help type shit. Yeah. And I was on break, and this one guy was like, 
oh man, I can't wait to fucking get home. I got a half a blunt on my fucking desk and I'm going to smoke that shit. I'm just like, dude, all right, bro. All right. What the heck? Like I'm going to smoke a, I'm going to smoke a million joints when I get home, but you're not going to hear about that cuz like what the fuck we're at work, buddy. Mm-hmm. I don't know, it's just kind of weird to be on that weed frequency stoner culture. It's like just work. smoke it and get to it, bro. What the fuck? You know, smoke and then just be like thinking about like, damn, I just smoked some freaking bud. I don't know. Huh, like it's a like a fucking Bruce Willis movie. I don't know what like, I don't know. Smoke some weed. How did he react? Bruce. How did he react to your reality check, dude? Did he uh, freaking dab right in your face? Uh, no, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like I just thought. I mean, he's like what, twenty two, twenty three years old? I think. Oh, uh, youngster. Yeah, yeah. yeah, young boy. And then uh. He on this podcast of your 22, 23, oh, little homie, yeah. dude. My bad. <laughs> the young We're some old heads over yeah, here, dude. Right. <laughs> 22, 23, that's cute, dude. Right. But, like, in a way, like, uh, more of, like, the fact that I just called them out. Like, damn, I'm like, you need to switch up your topics of, like, conversation. Like, because right. this is all you talk about. You know? Not good, buddy. That's yeah. some healthy criticism. You yeah, know, that's pretty solid. In a way, you know. He's, then, uh, as a young bull, you get a little ticked off, but that in time, he'll be like, that was a solid point. Like, right. one of these days he's going to be on a date and he's going to fuck it up and be like, damn, I kept talking about fucking dabs and shit. Right. And that bitch just I mean, went the other way. Yeah, but I don't know. In a way, he, he, likes, he likes what he likes. At the yeah. end of the Young men can only get a message when it fucks up their pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. When it rubs them the wrong way. Mm-hmm. If they can't get pussy, that's when they know something's up. Until oh, then, it's shit. free game. Do whatever shit. the fuck. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. The young bucks are on some different. My mm-hmm. supervisor at work is young as heck. The dude, I swear he like just turned 22 or something. And he be tweaking, bro. And I just look at it and it's funny now because I, I can remember a time being that age in those eons ago. Mm-hmm. And I was like kind of a little more testier too off like random shit. Like, I don't know. He'll do some shit and for a second I'll be thinking like this fool needs to chill. And then I'll just think for a second I'll be like, ah, I'd be on the same exact shit. Mm-hmm. But it's just when you're young, you kind of, like, you don't have as much, uh, like, social outlook to be like, I look fucking crazy right now. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> you're yeah. trying to just mentally always kind of attack things from your angle, but not see them from the alternative perspective of uh, how it's really looking type shit. The youngsters sure. move in fast, bro. The youngsters are like some sharks. They smell that blood and just move the fuck in. I don't even know. In all aspects. Yeah. Vicious, but effective. Very effective. The youngsters. Shouts out youngsters. Shouts out Even if you youngsters. are getting high as fuck smoking dabs and we'll talk right, about yeah. it. You still got some potential, bro. We believe in you. Yeah. We're here for you. That's what this podcast is about, dude. Where you working at in Arizona? What? <laughs> what is it? Oh, uh, no. Oh. Uh, it's like a warehouse as uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. That's, that's that out, that, you know. Do you get free? Like, huh? No one marketing. Because the yeah, yeah. they're going to hit you up. They're going to be like, hey, yo, let me get some of that. Do you get free yeah. drip? Nah, dog. I think uh, it's just like, all like retailed already. Priced, yeah. Like at like 180 you know. That's whatever. really lame. But uh, there's some cool coats they got. But Abercrombie and Fitch is low-key slept on. It, it is. Yeah. But more so just, you know. It's a, it's know. a matured uh, look for sure. It's just if you aren't the guy with his fucking shirt off and an eight pack, you're not really on that vibe. But they have yeah. sick ass shit. Yeah, I had good. these one like hella baggy like cargo pants that I, I wore forever. And they were Abercrombie and Fitch. Fire. And then like you said, they got like some coats, some other shit. Yeah, they have like, yeah, they're on some like. Some know, like parka, really type trendy, shit. you know. They're operating shirts. on some other frequencies. Yeah, they have like branches, you know. So you got to be ripped fun. and have like a really sick haircut. Yeah. <laughs> on chiseled beard. Chiseled yeah, beard. exactly. Not just Jones. a chin, but the beard has to be chiseled. Jeez. I, I don't know. I'm thinking more of like a California Dream Boy type vibe. Oh, You're thinking more on some like, that's like some, I don't even know what. That's just Jersey. like some like, yeah. Structured beard. <laughs> I'm thinking like California Dream Boy, like Eternal Youth vibes, dude. Like he, just, youth. he rips the Abercrombie and Fitch shirt off and just fucking clean slate, bro. Hairless, <laughs> smooth, nared, nared fucking torso. That's the kind of guys that shop at Abercrombie and Fitch. There you go. Yeah, we doing that though over there. But I don't know. Arizona, yeah. Arizona's kind of a trip, man. Absolutely. You know, just 
adjust like switching here from there like yeah cold turkey like what the fuck <laughs> major difference bro yeah. <laughs> i mean california especially southern california is like the rest of the world kind of feels the same way about it as probably you feel about arizona right now but right. it's definitely a, a huge fucking difference going from here to there like i've been out there to visit my mom for like a week type shit and i've been like holy macro this place is shocking right i don't even know what's your like day-to-day -day, like uh, <coughs> you just work and be posted or? yeah I work for like four, we have like a four, four day schedule so mm -hmm. like just 10 hours like morning morning stuff and then that's like, solid so you work four days but you still got that 40 days. hour week yeah dang and like three days of just like I don't know creating I guess fucking hell yeah I'm trying to flip something get more money I guess I don't know. yeah keep, keep it creatively grind. moving yeah keep moving onward yeah push through <laughs> that's funny you're like just try to like flip something make some more money i guess and we're all just like this depressed like yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah right that's oh, pretty much right now too that's oh, just yeah okay. no nah, it's all good though fuck it dude 99 yeah. percent of the world is broke as fucking shit people are living on dirt roads still it's 2023 yeah, I you, and then you just and i don't know yeah, i guess it's privilege. just random cats that you buying your shit too which is kind of crazy like you yeah people you know uh-huh it's and a tough struggle if you're any type of person, but yeah. I mean, it is what the fuck it is. Sometimes it's people feel good like doing, spending whatever amount they end up spending with you. But yeah, right. it's a strange game. It is a strange, strange. game because you're like, I know where this came from, and I have to put some sort of value on whatever thought I put into it. But it, yeah, it's funny. It's kind of like we talked on here before, like with the food shit. Like nowadays, it's impossible to not get ripped off. It was kind of always like that. That's the order of business. Like, that's the only way profit could be made. But, yeah, it gets extreme in some cases, I guess. Fucking hey, mate. But, hey. We have an interesting culture based upon this society we've constructed. What's worth what? Where did my lighter go? Oh, yes. it's right here. I'm I have a lighter. Oh, yeah. As well. We got lighters here. There's another one over here, too. I'm smoking crack like Hunter Biden. Damn. Just kidding. Those videos Hunter are so Biden. fake, dude. Those things, that's like Russian fake? propaganda. Jeez, that's Russian just propaganda, up, It's dude. just dude. Like, purely no, dude. fucking around. Guy is definitely 100% a criminal. He's all weighing it out, too. <laughs> yeah. The video where he's weighing that's it out. That's real crack. Yeah, that's, that's like, so he's like, official. He's he, Bro, that's no cap. Yeah. <laughs> you can't fake that. It's, it's crazy to think, like, dude is just self-incriminating him himself through that like he definitely knew somebody could tap into his shit i don't know that's it's just a wild you think different when that crack hits bro yeah exactly all <laughs> this little shit that we be paying attention to in the in this world that's just out the yeah. window dude it's all hogwash crack logic straight up crack but logic. i mean i saw this one thumbnail it was him smoking crack uh and he also had a hard seltzer although i think in the picture i remember seeing it, it looked like a lacroix uh -huh. but he was like smoking crack and weed and drinking like a fucking lacroix and a sensory deprivation tank and i was like damn like this is the bad guy like fuck he kind of that shit i might do the same thing if i was in his position you know what i mean go smoke crack in a sensory deprivation tank fuck it dude that's the president bro that dude Knows how to party, or at least exactly. keep the party rolling. Straight up. Fucking weirdo, though. Yeah, that guy's a criminal, bro. In more ways than one. We're not going to get into it on here. They get into right. it pretty deep on this one show I've been listening to. Fucking it's shout out culture. war mode, dude. The war, the, the war culture. If you, if you listen to war mode, they, <laughs> <laughs> those fools love fucking talking about Hunter Biden's laptop. Dude, this shit's foul. <laughs> dude. Hold on, did you just see the new one? There's a there's like a quote on there that fucking uh, that this one dude always says. I'm gonna say it and then I'm gonna go back and edit this shit out. But uh, he always says, "I witnessed Hunter Biden getting a foot job from his niece." Whoa! <laughs> and he's like, "It's burned in my memory." He gets fucking pissed, bro. Whoa. Yeah, supposedly there's videos of Hunter Biden doing that shit. Dude, it's all cracked out. Dude, that's fucked up weird that's like that chinatown shit bro that what's up with the elite chinatown they keep that shit in the family bro think about yeah. it so fucking i think weird. i think that's just like their twisted way of uh beliefs 
that like led to them being successful I don't know like everything that they can have within their power belongs to them yeah it's like bro so humanity's like, for fucking nerds bro in that world yeah like you're a fucking goofball if you're thinking on if some humanitarian thinking, yeah, yeah. shit you better step on somebody get you a buck Ooh, harsh reality bro hey uh, hey uh, yeah, yeah. fucking hey uh. end up like jake jake Guinness. hell yeah end up like <laughs> now we're talking about movies but End up like motherfucking Mrs. Mulray, bruh, with your eyeball shot out. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Evelyn Mulray, dude. All right, yeah. dude. Huh. Yeah, dude. I'm like Jake Giddis in this bitch. Private investigator, dude. <laughs> trying to... T- <laughs> He's like trying to squeeze a net out of every situation. <laughs> awesome. Hey, like yeah. even in the next one, the two Jakes. Good God. He's like, I'm like a squeeze a the second one, yeah, he's more on his nut shit. <laughs> I was thinking to, uh, I have these horrible ideas when I'm sitting here by myself, but I was thinking to recite the fucking, the shit that he says about the, how Chinese people have sex or some shit. Oh, yeah. Like some Confucius. of the most autistic shit that you could run up and say to somebody and think is funny, bro. Oh, well, he's like, yeah, hold up. No, no, this yeah, is going to be great. This shit is great. not funny at all. Horrible, bro. That's fucked up. I was thinking to start doing that. You're going to start reciting the Burst whole the envelope a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. On some fucking good God, bro. On your odd. You should have like seen me this. Lander. You should have seen me this morning at the fucking, at the seabird before we went the second time. I was looking like a fucking, I don't even want to say these words. I don't have to like censor them. Oh, and just bleep out like the last couple straight like, up. Syllables. It's kind of funnier to censor shit, but yeah. I was looking like a f- straight up autistic. <laughs> like not even sure like oh, is this money yeah exactly, is this how i bro. pay no nah, it's because this girl in there is like always looking at me crazy bro but i think she's like too young so i'm like mentally already it's done in my brain like i could i can't do it dude, dude. but she's always like trying to be extra nice to me and shit so like my response to keep it a neutral exchange is always some extremely like retarded shit. Just very <laughs> subtle, like ah, nah, nah, nah. very weird. But today she's like, she's like, uh, like, she calls me up to get my coffee, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. She's always kind of looking at me crazy, and I'm just, I can't help it, dude. I smile like a fucking little kid. Like a horse. When, <laughs> when these sweet angels fucking give me the f eyes, dude. But in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to do this shit. So, like, she's like, I like your jacket. I wear the same fucking jacket every single day. (laughs) 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 And she's like, I like your jacket. And I'm so fucking retarded that, like, the fastest I could possibly say it, I'm like, yeah, my brother gave me this jacket. It's one of my favorite jackets. And then I just, like, sprinted out the front door. (laughs) What the fuck? Next time she'll probably ask you about your brother and be like, how's your brother doing? We're cutting all this out. Yeah. I'm not going to dox the fucking seabird, but it's funnier because wherever I end up cutting it, it will kind of add that air of mystery to what we were talking about before. Yeah. What <laughs> air of mystery. But yeah, sweet God. She's kind of like pretty buttery, but I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I could do it. But then this other chick that's there is kind of more my age, probably a little older. Yeah. But I think either way, I don't think I could do it, bro. Yeah. That, I don't think older chicks is really the move either. I think that's. I trying to break you, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's funny. Tell us about never, that, bro. Tell uh, us about that. You know, it's trying to like like mind your business, test run. You know. Yeah, mind your business. You're here to buy coffee, and the lady just put you on the spot. Huh? They're testing your wits. <laughs> They're testing your yeah. your libido and shit. Right. Oh my God. Like, how strong is this dude's libido when like all my <laughs> homegirls are around? Right. Holy back roll. Chicks really you're on that and they're like, How how bad is this dude trying to get get at me? That's what I'm saying. While it's like, I'm like I know I could get in that mode and like <laughs> try to be that guy when it's the the end of the road and like, dude, fuck that shit is um Gucci bro. It's kind of a goober thing, but it, it is what it is. Like fuck. I just don't I, in I I don't know, I just know myself and I know my brain. Yeah. And I know like 15 minutes into the initia- initiation, I'm going to be like, fucking retard, why'd you do this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, and it's not even like, 
I don't know, dude. You might say like, dude, you're writing yourself off, but I've I've witnessed things, bro. Uh, Trust me, for sure. I I've don't doubt the some, foresight, and I've the, seen some things, bro. The, I and don't it's doubt just the me. sight. This doesn't go for everybody at all. Most right. people, go ahead, bro. You out here slanging that dick? Keep running that, dude. This shit's sick. <laughs> but a guy like me, dude, a deep thinker. I got a picture of a fucking chimpanzee right here, looking all <laughs> pensive. That's sick. That's, That's me, ass. dude. I'm the fucking chimp. chimp, dude. Sorry about it, dude. But it is what the fuck it is. Coffee shop shenanigans, bro. At the end of the day, I think it's just way sicker to just be like, yeah, I go to this coffee shop, and I'm not fucking with any of these chicks. And it is what the fuck it is. Because if it was a bunch of dudes, I wouldn't be fucking them either just because I see them at the coffee shop every day. <laughs> yeah, I feel... The yeah. Fuck the fuck <laughs> we're gonna have to cut all this shit out <laughs> pussy pussy bro exactly but like obviously there's definitely like barriers between pussy you know there's chicks where oh, you're yeah. like i could definitely not fuck with that like I, that's just like demeaning to my humanity or whatever is left of my humanity <laughs> <at> this age <laughs> yeah <laughs> you start off young and you're like oh that's i have just so funny. much heart i don't know but, I mean, that's what it's all about, dude. Go catch them in the wild, dude. Don't grab them at the coffee shop. Yeah. Despite what your fucking sick brain tells don't you. Don't go to the bar, though. Don't find... Don't the find, bar, Don't bro? look for the bar. We're going to the bar tonight, bro. Don't look for it at the bar. We're going to the bar tonight, Because that's where you find out <laughs> what's <laughs> yeah. been lurking around the fucking bar. What the fuck, bro? I'm lurking around the bar tonight, dude. Oh, and then you're going to find out. No, I, I do have a secret fantasy to go to the bar and just play mad tunes, dude. I'm just trying, I kind of, I, I guess can. I just want to be a DJ. Definitely can. Yeah, I'm trying to just tune out at the fucking I bar. Think, I think <laughs> you're trying to DJ, but like on your like comedic. Yeah, exactly. The first song that's going on is Phil Collins, Stranger Like Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the first You track. probably, yeah. See, that's how you. That's how you'll corral them in. That's like a chimpanzee really track niche. for sure. Chimpanzees love that song. All the niche shorties will pop out of the crowd and be like, oh my god, who the fuck's playing this song? <laughs> oh, you see a orangutan bouncing around in the corner and shit. Huh. Like, what the fuck? It just slowly transforms into me. <laughs> like, I'm in the dark, in the, like, dimly lit. I can't tell if it's actually what's you're happening. Just, you're just wearing the jacket. But so an like, orangutan slowly just like <laughs> turns into your boy. Uh, <laughs> you anamorph? Yeah, exactly. That you reverse sick. anamorph? I'm trying to anamorph, bro, this summer. I swear to God. You're going to turn into a chimp? Yeah. How how would you go know <laughs> yeah. through that process of turning into a With chimp? With that fucking blue thing that's in the anamorphs. What do they call that shit? I don't know. It's the, it's the blue fucking thing. That'll turn me into a chimp real fast. <laughs> the blue light? I'm about to look it up real quick. This is a uh, huh. how to turn to a chip. How to <laughs> yeah, how to turn into a chimpanzee. <laughs> how to turn Animorphs version. <laughs> Four hours. <laughs> All right, here we go. The Andalites, dude. This will. I used to have this book, but this one's gonna turn me into a chip. <laughs> Damn. What the hell? This you don't want to see him. All right. That's some that's some DMT creature right there. No cap. Yeah, that's you don't, like you don't some see him. being you meet in the fucking third eye dimension. Yeah, once I link up with him, he'll turn me into a chimp. We'll catch the sequence. Put it on the cover of a fucking book. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture, like a sequence of pictures. Like, that's actually how they did it. It wasn't like Photoshop. It was actually like... It was Sequence. real. It was like, like a documentary. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I'm straight right. up documentaries, dude. My <laughs> man Chris has like been playing a lot of documentaries for me. He's been feeding them, like in a Clockwork Orange, how you just like strap dude to the chair with the eyeball, like the restrictors from closing your eyes. Uh, He's yeah. Been like, I like documentaries because. Uh, <laughs> It's more of like a passive, um, you get to like watch it more passively. Like if I, if I'm watching a movie and I'm going over here and going over there, then I'm missing like crucial shit that the director spent maybe fucking years trying to set up. You know what I mean? Yeah. But in documentary, they're using like stock clips mm -hmm. and shit like that. And they're, 
I don't know. And Tying then smaller information. You can still miss smaller details and still be tied into the whole thing. Although with that Adam Curtis shit, if you miss like one detail, your ass is grass, bro. You don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. <laughs> so much shit. Zhang Ching, bro. Hey, yeah. Uh, huh. Regimes. But yeah, I swear no matter structures. no matter how much I watch those Adam Curtis documentaries, like see some shit that has me like mind boggled. Even I watched Chinatown the other fucking pretty mind boggling. Watched Chinatown the other day and saw some shit that I hadn't really caught before, and I was that was pretty sick. Yeah, Polanski killed it for sure. Hey, uh, that fool killed something. His ass is grass, bro. Yeah, he died, right? I'm not sure. If he's not dead, he's definitely like fucking on some hair on. Hey, uh, who knows? Oh, he just hears this. Like, <laughs> he just he just fucking pops up in the room, huh. cuts our nose and shit. Uh, you want to fire around? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I think he was Romanian too. Similar, Andrew Tate. Sketch, bro. <laughs> Those Romanians are up to something, dude. Yeah. You know about Andrew Tate, Sonny? Uh, yeah, I've heard of like some shit. About just like him. vaguely, huh? Yeah, Same here. I don't know too much about the guy. I don't know. He's, he's, uh, yeah. I mean, I've been watching like all of his videos every day for the past five months, but that's it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, that still doesn't really show you who he is. It's just like whatever he wants people to see. For sure. Shit, but Mr. Plenty, dude. Yeah, exactly. Got Chuck. Like I thought it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, bro. What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> what dog? This full of sick dog, Mr. Plenty. <laughs> it's so fucking sketch, dude. What the heck, mister? Vague info. Yeah. But yeah, I, I couldn't. Accusations. All that manosphere shit, bro, is a little much, dude. I don't know. All that shit, too, kind of pushes me. That's like kind of links back into the coffee shop talk. But like, that's really the realm that like, like the pinnacle of like bad bitch culture is like the Instagram shit and they're going to Miami and all that shit, you know? And then the pinnacle, ver like the mirror version of that is Andrew Tate. Like, that's what has to be in order to maintain that. You know right. what I mean? Shit's yeah. fucking disturbed, but it is what the fuck it is. Right. You, got, you got to be Mr. Plenty, dude. Yeah. You can't be out here on some Joe <laughs> Schmo. You better be chasing your dreams fucking ruthlessly stomping. Right. Stomping on like, everybody hey, yeah, in bro. fucking path. Bro, you could call me Mr. Plenty. It's all good. Oh, yeah, just call just me that. The name is so weird. <laughs> bro, that shit is fucking disturbed. I'm going to try to pull it up right now. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'll play it on the reference heavy cast. Yeah, it. your LinkedIn still. So where the fuck I gotta find it? This dude, if you, I don't know. I think that the shit that Chuck sends me is shit that he sends like eighteen other people. In he a sends day. it to the <laughs> yeah. But he'll send it to the group. The and, shit he sends me is like so out of fucking left field. It's insane. And I always kind of get the same vibe. Like I'm always like, oh haha, I know exactly why he sent me this. He is the most random shit ever. <laughs> Mr. <So> Plenty. Rare. <laughs> dude. Shit so rare. Dang it, dude. I can't find it, dude. That one? Bro, you already know it. You can call me Mr. Plenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just this will, this will hold up. This will send me some like Christian rap and I like put haha and this was like shit kinda slaps though. <laughs> <laughs> out of control mister <laughs> yeah i can't find it dude it's fucking mr plenty you already mr. know what plenty. the heck it is <laughs> look it up on youtube mr plenty uh nah it's Andrew all good Tate, dude because then you're gonna get it on your algorithm <laughs> right <laughs> you just it's just a bunch of andrew tate videos on your on your feed <laughs> bunch of like uh Spoken word, Andrew Tate. Oh, and then I'll start fucking macking all these bitches down, dude. I don't know what hit him a fucking Tate storm, dude. Hey, uh, bro, Mr. Plenty, dude. Hell yeah. You already know what it is. Shocking. Yeah, that shit is disturbed. Hey, uh, the shelf life of all this shit is at an extreme low. Like, I think the goal, yeah, dude, the goal in this society is just at this point really to make it but be off the radar just enough to where you're not getting i your think that's always been the mission that's always been the mission like you just you make a bunch of money then you go buy like a house in the fucking country and chill yeah yeah but yeah 
it's just a lot of people making more money now, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure. Mr. Plenty? Huh. It's not like he's the only homie out there on that shit. No. Nah. That fool's he got just, a gang. He's just, like, one of the figures. I'm sure he posts up, like, other cats that are on the same shit. For probably sure. even more ruthless. Like, on that Saudi Arabia shit? Yeah. They probably got some <laughs> buck shit. Yeah, that's why I would see. Bro, I seen this. When they fly, all those Saudi Arabia. This yeah. shit's disturbed, bro. I seen sure. this. I don't know. They're probably. What the fuck, bro? It's just loud as hell. My bad. But there's probably. A <laughs> <laughs> trying to mix the coffee. They're all probably like oil kids, you know what I mean? Like, right. just generational oil kids. Got like factories full of fucking stock, like, uh, exotic cars from like the fucking whatever era, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shit is insane. Yeah. Planes and shit. I don't know. It's it's just, just right. There's like a graveyard in Dubai of all these expensive ass cars. Have you seen that video? Oh yeah, I see that on Instagram. Pretty shocking. Like rows and rows of like Ferraris and fucking yeah, Corvettes or whatever you know, Bugattis, Rolls Royces. Shit's crazy, bro. There's a whole different Rotting sphere of life desert. that we're not currently involved in. It's just weird. Yeah, that's the upper echelon. Even though, like, you see all that shit and it's kind of disturbed in the end, it's like, like, I, I'm going day to day. I'm not thinking about what Bentleys are out at all. Like, I'm not thinking about that yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's not, I don't know. It's just weird. It is weird. Like, you're just spending, like, $30,000 a day type shit. It's fucking good guy. Mm. Probably make thirty thousand in hey uh, I don't even wanna say it dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, in three years I'll make yeah. thirty thousand dude. <laughs> hey uh <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. mind blowing to even think of sometimes. It is weird, dude. Yeah. I'll even think of like because I have roommates and shit I'll be like alright if I didn't have roommates how are we going to sustain that and I'm just like that is not possible right now at all yeah. it's just shocking I don't know like what is that shit because there's fools who own like multiple properties down near my own island right. and I'm over here fighting my life away to have a room and shit's just <laughs> fried bro <laughs> it's like what the heck mister I don't know it, again our, our catchphrase of this fucking podcast is it is what it is dog really is because i guess you just gotta eat it but sweet jesus i just i don't know that's that uh good god we're stuck mode but the adam curtis shit (laughs) 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 that hyper normalization shit bro it's like i have no vision for the future at all the shit's just like blank space it's all just gonna be a reiteration of the current times just more focused on this uh commercialist perspective at least with the higher chains like Disney or Nike, YouTube. Eh, yeah. And um, who knows? Maybe they'll just create the next government for us. We'll mm. see. Yeah. Huh. It's, it's like, like, who cares? But... Wally. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it just seems fried. Because if shit goes left here, I don't have any sort of, like... I don't know. It's like, what are we gonna all organize like another place and go live there together? It's like fucking mm-hmm. a. I don't know. It's just, it's just wild, bro. And not that anything might go left here, but like, shit is clearly changing rapidly on this side. And it's like, hey, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's just like, well, you gotta make more money, dude. It's like, hey, yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> everybody has a. Everybody, yeah. Everyone's got to make some money, I guess. And there's people doing just fine, which is shocking to me, too. But, I don't know. It's a funny state of affairs. Pop another zen, dude. Yeah, one of Andrew Tate's um, ways he came up. <laughs> one of the ways he came up was uh, damn, he would dude. Hire, I barely realized you're fucking bald, just like Andrew he Tate. Would, he, he would hire like, fucking. If you people could see what I'm seeing right now, it's a spitting image of Andrew Tate's he fucking would, protege. Bro. He would hire chicks and set up their OnlyFans, and then uh, make a cut of that. So he had a bunch of like. No, like, like he's basically web. OnlyFans pimping. Yeah, that I I don't know. It's hard for me to 
I don't see breaking into that spectrum. It would be like a weird kind of like. I feel like that's all technicality uh, shit. But yeah. I'm not sure. I get. I'm not sure what the heck he might have done. He might have done some extremely foul shit. I'm not defending the guy at all. No, I'm not saying that either. But I was just bringing up one of the. Yeah. It's just like ties into what we were. What do you think about, about that? Like, do you, like. What. It's just a nutty byproduct of what the society has come to. Like the Andrew Tate fella. And then like you're just pimping on the web. But All those dudes are just, they seem like these wild characters. They're literally just playing into what this society calls for. Yeah. but Like out, or what is it? Either way, I feel there would be, like those chicks would probably be pimping out their own bodies. If the, if the web wasn't as prevalent, like back in the days... It was like that would be would some be rare like, shit to be doing. Yeah, yeah. But now it kind of makes just sense. Like, yeah, I don't know. I guess it is a safer way of like uh, selling your body, but yeah, shit's wild. To each their own, you know. Some people might just call what he did "get into the bag." Yeah, exactly. This fool is just getting to the bag. Yeah. Don't we love that, dude? Get into the bag is sick as fuck. You end up accidentally being a human trafficker. Right. Doing some clean OnlyFans deals. Like, right. what the fuck? Shit's strange. That, that shit, uh, how I was telling you, I was watching that um, that Channel 5 movie. Right. And that one, he interviews the the Proud Boys dude. The Proud Boys guy who's, like, a brown, he's, like, Cuban, I think. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't know. Like, obviously, all that shit is burnt the fuck out. But watching that had me, like, there. this dude is, like, this dude's just a hustler. Like, he doesn't give a fuck about none of that shit. And the thing, he's like, uh, the kid brings it up to kind of make him look sketchy. Uh But he's like, yeah, this dude actually got arrested. And he, like, a little bit before he started the Proud Boys, he was in prison for selling expired diabetic strips in Miami. I was like, dude, this dude's a Cuban selling bootleg diabetes strips in Miami. Like, that's the fucking order of business down there, bruh. Right. It's a fucking port city. Like, that's what everyone does. Everybody's like you get some shit that fell off a money. truck and you hustle the dog shit out of it. Like mm-hmm. I, that shit just had me like this fool's a natural born hustler. He just happens to be hustling some shit for like an extremely sus group. Yeah. But you can tell like he's extremely fried, obviously. But he's I'm just like this dude doesn't give a fuck about none of this shit. He's just partying. Like glad that the dude is interviewing him because it's like more publicity type shit. Yeah, he's gonna get more bags. Like, in the thing, he doesn't really say anything political. He's just like, I sell t-shirts, bro. You know what I mean? That's what I've been doing. <laughs> it's like, bro, this fool doesn't give a fuck about, it. I don't know. It's just, but that that's what I'm saying about, like, the culture makes this shit happen. Like, it's not like these dudes are fucking master evil, like, fucking geniuses. You know what I mean? It's just some fool that's, like, hustling. And everyone gets all bent out of out. shape. Shit crazy. Make it out the rough. Yeah. Like, that fool could give a fuck less if Proud Boys ended tomorrow. He would just start hustling some other shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit crazy. He'd be on to the next. I'm sure he has his other schemes ready. He's just yeah. Like In that movie, they were the just next. like, I don't know. I felt like he was just exposing, like, oh, like, look, like, clearly this group is, like, not really hitting it on the head. It's like, yeah, bro, no shit, bro. All these people are fucking psychopaths. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it was what it was. It is what it is. What's because there's the, still, like, people that are unaware of that. Or at least I guess like, so, yeah. yeah. Not everyone's a fucking jaded douchebag like me. Yeah. But um, <laughs> the smartest people in that whole movie were the little kids who had the QAnon parents. That shit was crazy to me, dude. Crazy. The little kid's just like, yeah, I feel like my dad, like, pretty much just wasted a huge chunk of his life. He's all, like, just doesn't even, he's all burnt out, doesn't even care. I don't know, that shit was yeah. nutty. And you can tell the little girl's kind of bummed. She's like, damn, our fucking parents are dumb as shit. Whereas, like, in a past generation, kids would probably still think of their parents as, like, on top. But now it's like the kids are so fast that he's just like, all right, my dad's a fucking moron. I guess I'm about to just be on my own shit at the age of, like, 10. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's gnarly, bro. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was like that was like the sickest part of the movie to me was like those little kids, because they're pretty. 
coherent dude in, in comparison to the fucking the adults in that movie good god bro yeah. a bunch of fucking gorillas shit's insane I think everyone's on drugs or at least like faded some nutty drugs too some shit that no one in this room be fucking with guarantee you that bro some wild shit some wild uppers some all that some yeah. mix some cocktails yeah yeah pill definitely cocktail. some of those people at those protests like it's weird too because with the pharmaceutical shit it's like you're not really thinking you're on drugs you're just feeling better than you've ever felt <laughs> and like i don't know this one chick is like reciting some QAnon shit i'm just like god damn this, she was definitely on some uppers probably or maybe antidepressants yeah and she was going fucking crazy i was just like good god dude if she was sober i would be really shocked but sober people are pretty shocking on average but still yeah i'd be around certain sober people and i'm like is this person on drugs exactly but yeah most people are on drugs and completely fucked but we're all so drugged out that we're like oh yeah man this is cool fuck but yeah I don't know next every time I stop smoking weed for a little bit I'm like this was yeah whatever dude I always think I'm gonna have some like grand revelation what the fuck am I talking about I never stopped smoking weed but the last time I did ain't nothing good happened dude tell you that much dude (laughs) got into some funky stuff (laughs) (laughs) that's right that's fucking right How much time have we got right this now? This is about to be the classified episode, dude. This is about to be like those uh, FBI files that have all the little black bars and shit yeah, over like, the information hey. that they cut out. That no, shit's going to be sick. That's going to be hard. We it's still got like mad time, bro. You file. thought you thought it was safe. You've only been recording for like 20 minutes. That's bomb. We have 40 minutes to go. Speaking of bombs, what do you think the chances of a nuclear Armageddon happening within a lifetime? Do I really don't know. Supposedly, everyone having nukes is just a complete fucking lie. <laughs> Shocking. I think there's it. It's not that everybody has nukes. It's just like we have enough nukes. To how do you think we get attacked though? We would. Like, how like, we would? Like the scenario. Like how do you think that'd be though? Like here, like missile just coming towards like the town or what? Yeah, like probably like or like an army coming in from the ocean. Maybe like both. That should be crazy, right? A whole fucking yeah. like infantry of people like in boats. That would be really fucked up. All sending in the, soldiers after know, a nuke. The thing for me is like they <laughs> ab- <laughs> just send it. they absolutely have China. like the enough uh-huh. military firepower to just end this whole shit. But it's like just take over. I don't know. Like what are the odds of it? They've been talking about this shit since fucking the 40s or whatever huh. that's what the Since whole the like Dr. Strange love shit made a whole movie about it bruh long before any of us were born it's been like the talk of the town I think a dude fucking good god people are gonna think I'm fucking queuing on by the end of this podcast you know what I'm okay with that dude I just might be queuing on dude <laughs> <laughs> He's a star, <laughs> but fucking you uh, are Q. Like nah, but dude, that's his just, identity. Of that shit's Q. fucking fear tactics, so, bro. bro. Trying to keep you on edge, bro. There's something wrong. Oh fuck, yeah. Even if you got this one thing worked out, don't forget there's nukes, and some of the people with these nukes are bad. So uh, it's we're just not like, bad. It's we all just fucking. Got the nukes it's just some shit everybody. to make you feel like absolute shite. Cause you ain't gonna do nothing about it. You're gonna storm into a nuclear silo and like grab it with your arms and like squeeze the nuke till it's gone. Fuck no. You ain't gonna do jack shit when they press the button, dude. Oh, you can't like body shield it with like a grenade. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I guess you just got to be a really good person, dude. That'll fucking end nuclear Armageddon. Just be (laughs) such a good person that it all just floats away. Just bring happiness and joy to everybody. In it's your pretty life. much like that's that sunrise shit. How he talks about the nuclear war. It's like you keep on with this shit, and I don't know. Don't you know? It's kind of more extreme now. We've kind of accelerated that whole vibe to its like absolute maximum. It's gonna be your ass. 
What you gonna do without you? <laughs> right. For real though. But that was good. <laughs> <laughs> without you. <laughs> without you. <laughs> Uh, Sticky Dick does a good uh, Dutch too for Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good Dutch. Uh, come on, Arthur. <laughs> 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 Grab your horse, Arthur. <laughs> 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 we gotta go rob this house, Arthur. <laughs> There's a family. They're not <laughs> home, <laughs> Arthur. You get to the you get to the ha- the house of the whole family's there having dinner. <laughs> He's like, "Rob them! I'm gonna be outside. I'll wait for you. Uh, you go ahead and rob that family. <laughs> I'll wait outside, Arthur. Now you go in there, kill the family, and come back out, Arthur. Do the whole job. Straight the fuck up. He just does the whole job, and then." Yeah. Oh man! If you fucking know Red Dead Redemption Two, that is so goddamn funny. Huh. Oh man! Impersonations. <coughs> yeah, Dutch is a fucker, dude. Dude. But what I've come to learn, dude, is we've all got a little Dutch in us, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like the the like. That's the theme. Huh? Maniac. That's Ego kind of maniac. That's kind of why Arthur is like so conflicted. He's still fucking with him in a way. It's kind of weird. I'd be like, you know what, Dutch, go fuck yourself, dude. I'm good on my own. I got a bear fucking hat. Right, you killed mad rattlesnake shit. boots, dude. I don't need this bullshit donating to the camp and shit. What the fuck? Hold on, you could live on your own lavishly. What the fuck? Where are you yeah, doing for no the goddamn gang? Camp counselor? The gang isn't like really looking out for you. They're just looking out for themselves. Those in that game. Yeah, those fuckers. <laughs> those fuckers. Yeah. But I guess like his ties to John and like his family, like he wants to make sure they're they're straight. Humble, huh? Yeah, because they found they found John when he was like a a youngster. So John's kind of like Arthur's kid. <laughs> it's pretty buck. <laughs> hey, fucking. Yes. And we all know how John went out. <laughs> or not? Good Maybe, googly if you, movie. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Fuck, dude. Shot him like a dog. Hey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like worse, actually. Shot him like a fucking like Tony Montana. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> laid his ass out. I was I was low key thinking about Tony Montana earlier, <laughs> uh-huh. and I was I was <laughs> dude so fucking smoked out, bro. But I was just thinking, like, yeah, everyone's got a little Tony Montana in them. You, know, you just go too far sometimes. And you fuck it all up. So fucking smoked out. Just yeah, sitting yeah. in my room doing nothing. It's like, no, dude. <laughs> Say no, Tony Montana flick, dude. You're just sitting in a room. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pile of coke in the room. Yeah, yeah no. Nah. Not on no type of Tony Montana time, dude. Yeah. Tony Montana. <laughs> Hot headed Cubans. Uh, rule the world, dude. You gotta watch out for them hot headed Cubans. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, Shots out all the Cubans. I was just thinking the way he went out at the end. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> when, yeah. that's how it's that's how they get John's ass pretty much. Yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. Just shoot his ass. You just had to do all that crazy shit, huh? You just had to do all that crazy shit. I, I can't lie, though. You watched the movie. That fool was getting straight disrespected. Like, damn, damn near the whole, the whole movie. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'd be like, ah, this fool. I don't know. I guess that's kind of in any movie. They, that's the whole conflict of character. Like, are you going to do some wild shit just because some wild shit happened to you? Or are you going to fucking keep your cool and be Arthur Morgan, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that full Tony Montana was getting disrespected. I can't lie. Yeah. What do you think? Are you on Sosa's side or Tony Montana? Currency said that they should have made the movie about Sosa. That would have been a whole different, yeah, a whole different perspective, mm. a whole different idea. I don't know. I can't really imagine. 
I think, I think, it, yeah, I think if yeah. Tony didn't trip, he'd like, it could, Sosa was looking down the line type shit. Tony Montana's like, I need this shit right now and I want the whole shit. We're not going into movies right now. I don't even know that fucking movie too well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what it is. I feel like that movie is just like a flashback of like violent scenes that I remember purely from shock value. Like uh, the bathroom scene always about to get cut up right in the beginning. Like yeah, for, the, for sure. For that's what it, that's, like, that's the one thing that flashed in my head too. And I'm saying he's like, this was getting disrespected. Yeah, because it's like if you knew that happened to someone, I guess in that <laughs> in that era and with those types of folks, they're like, all right, fool, another day in the fucking woods, bro. Sorry, but yeah, it's like if you knew that happened to someone, you wouldn't be trying to like undercut him on a coke deal, dude. You'd be like, I'm about to help this homie out. Right. This fool saw his fucking cousin get chopped up in a bathtub. Yeah. Sucks, dude. But I don't know. No sympathy for the devil, dude. If you're dealing coke, you're gonna get what's coming to you in some way or another. It's fucked. Sorry, bacha. Tony Montana, dude. Yeah, what the hell? Fool was clearly traumatized. <laughs> that movie came out today. It would just be his journey into like healing his trauma. <laughs> with the fucking, yeah, with the what? What song do they play? Uh, what song do they play when it shows him like doing money counters and shit? Nah, that's Top Gun, you oh, dickhead. Oh, that was a different movie. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, I can't even remember, dude. It's some classic 80s shit. No, I don't think so. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Listeners are this is a this is good podcast content when uh when the, the speakers are trying to think of something that a lot of people know they're gonna be like, dude, I hope they figure it out. We're not figuring it out, dude. Yeah, dude. I mean, we have phones, bro. We can look that shit. No, nah, it's too late, bro. You've wasted too much time already. Too much time was wasted. <laughs> <laughs> a uh, fucking a. Yeah, I was just man. thinking, they why they had to do it so gruesome, you know? Like why why not just use like a bag and make it easier? <clears throat> I guess it's for the disrespect. Yeah, for sure, dude. It's you'd like, be surprised, bro. Motherfuckers are really grimy, right? It's like we don't. Like, why we, we think I don't know. Like the shit that we experience, you know? the shit that we experience daily is so like chilled out. I don't know. That's what I was saying earlier, too, about, like, the difference between Arizona and SoCal or whatever. Like, the SoCal vibe is so, like, mellowed out and just nothing. Because, like, we don't even have to deal with snow. Right. And fucking, like, the shit that people do in real life is so disturbed, bro. Fools definitely are still chopping people up in bathtubs, like, all sloppy. Like, not taking concern of like cleanliness uh, nothing bro like, the song is push it to the limit but there we go nice dude no. push it to the limit <laughs> yeah. this shit's sick as fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's straight up some fucking coke shit right there if we if we ever at some point in our existence fucking fingers crossed buddy if we have to use a money counter we're gonna play push it to the fucking limit dude there but until go. then i'll count my three bills by hand <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Welcome to the limit. Yeah, that part's yeah, exactly. sick. That's the part that's where I get pumped up. Like, fuck yeah, here it is, dude. Let's fucking get to work, dude. Yeah. Welcome to the limit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's so smoked out. <laughs> hey uh bro. <laughs> Dang, dude. That's a great podcast. Right Speaking now. of smoked out, dude, yeah, I'm about to roll one more tiny little truck. By the time we're done with that, dude, we should be good to go on this thing, man. Yeah. I can't stop looking at this drawing of this chimpanzee I drew. I'm just like, it's a fucking very relatable. You feel one with the chimp? He feels close to chimps. So what's what's the news, Sonny? Uh, you've been working on some clothes, some yeah, hoodies. Some clothes, dude. clothes and uh, using that singer machine, man. So it's pretty dope. It's not too bad. Which one's that? Just like a more of like a, it's like a basic sewing machine. People oh, get off, sewing machine. Yeah, people get off. Yeah, people have higher ones, but. Um, you yeah, making it work? Making it work for now. 
for sure. It's pretty tight just doing that up there. No oh, music yeah. though, you know. Put that on pause for a bit. That's right. Using the keyboard a little more. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Keyboard's so, tight. Uh, yeah, try to keep it flat. Uh, keyboards are sick. Yeah. That are just I don't know. Trying to grind out there, I guess. I don't know. It's different out there. It is a lot different. Yeah. But the streets are pretty bad out there, man. Disgusting. They get yeah. beat up by that fucking heat, bro. Yeah. That's weird. It's like a the lot sun of just shines on it so long that the ground gets all yeah, fucked right. up. Concrete just like disintegrates. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah. I noticed yeah. that when I was out there too. The the roads are beat the fuck up. And my mom lives in like a pretty nice. Oh shit, that shit is locked, my boy. Someone unlock that real quick. Ah, come back later. Come back later. Huh. <laughs> He's, He's not gonna like that house, one. <laughs> He's not gonna like that one. That's what it's all fit. No, it's the bottom one. Uh, later. Oh, all right, all right, later. All right, all right, hell yeah. Come back later. <laughs> Come back later. But yeah, the sun, dude. Erodes the roads. Eroded the road and I'm rolling in the boats. And the roads, the water. Yeah, that's sun weather, man. That shit's crazy. Yeah. I remember being out in Palm Desert a couple times. I went out to Yuma yeah. f- for a day. Uh-huh. That that was like being in, in a vacuum of like, just like if you're ever like small mm-hmm. and can fit inside like the bag of a vacuum and it's just like sucking air in all hot. Mm. So you're just breathing like this like really dry, hot air. Very humid out there for sure. It's crazy. It's like drying you. It, you, you feel it, yeah. You're in a dehydrator. Like one of those fruit dehydrate. You know, you can dehydrate your own fruit. See, but like along with that, there's like also like homeless, like a problem out there. Wild. It's like, I see this out here, but I'm like, what the fuck? Like these cats are like, there's this one lady I want to go check out this, this crib for, this apartment, like more inland. Uh-huh. And it was at night, right? It was like 730 or whatever. Yeah. And uh, she's like, yeah, so just, uh, if you decide to move in, in the bag, you probably see a family or two, just like, you know, I'm like, what do you mean family? Like homeless, you know, homeless family, like just in the alleyway. I'm like, what the fuck? It got like really like, I don't know. I was like, uh, I was like, fuck, all right. I was like, that's right. cool. And then she's like, and like, you don't want to park right there. Cause the first, <laughs> like the first time I moved in, like my shit got broken into. I was Whoa. like, I was like, damn. I was like, you know what? I just, uh, I'll hold off on this shit. Right, you know, like all those red flags, kind of uh, right uh, off like, the bat. Yeah, it's like, like all right, I gotta worry about the this family or one of these yeah. families, like potentially trying to break in, right. or like. But it's pretty bad out there, I guess. Maybe Certain one areas. of their associates, yeah. you know, just bringing around some yeah. people and situations where they they need money. Yeah, but it's. Uh, we all need money. There's this like. There's this blog called like a thousand ten city. Oh. And um That's just what they call it. That shit sounds like yeah. something out of a video game. All right. Like going like, to another state and seeing homeless people is some of the most depressing <laughs> shit ever. Right. It could get bad, you know. But uh Yeah, a bunch of like uh have a whole blog doing that out there. It's crazy. How the, like they're letting it happen too, you know. The show, bro. Do you think the situation would be better if, like, every homeless person had a house? Because I think there would still be a lot of mental illness and, like, trauma <coughs> that would be unresolved. And probably just, like, Bro, those, cultivate, those like, fucking a, homeless communities where they put all the houses next to each other, they gotta separate them shit's a boy from girl. Because, like, there's fools, like, there's full-on, like, rapists and shit, bro. Yeah. Like, fools are out of their goddamn minds. Right. But, I don't know, it, it, sh- who the fuck knows, bro? It's tough to say because it's like they should have a facility for those people, but it's like, bro, you seen that footage? Right. Yeah. Titty cut follies and shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. It's, it gets to a horrible point, bro. Even if you do have a hospital for all the mentally ill people, dude. 
Psych wards yeah. are still fucked up today, and it's probably like a fraction of what it used to be, dude. There was that uh, George Carlin bit where he was like, yeah, it's like, I think he was talking about criminals, but just like put them on an island. Holy shit. Or like you give them the state of Ohio or some some shit like that. You just like block off the borders. Fuck. Of like a couple of the inland states. Oh, and the then each, three. each state is like a different thing so like one would be like the murderers one would be like Sick the alcoholics and like people that just like don't pay for shit or that's pretty nice and then there's these small sliding doors that would open and then they would only be open for like 10 seconds and you'd just be like barely able to fit into it and then like they would close like real quick and he's just like we can make that like the tv show of like the month like pay-per-view it's like people fighting to get through the doors. <laughs> nice. Yeah. TV. Nice George Carlin bit you just stole. All right, no, but I'm I was just, just I was just, just thinking I'm like, just I'm just like, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, fuck. Yeah, that that's Words that's a pretty sick, sick idea. Sick. Can't lie. If I was like, I kind of am in a way, but if it was. If everyone was as bad as me with the weed shit, like a whole state's worth, I'd be like, fuck this, dude. I'd probably figure something else out. <laughs> <laughs> You're just surrounded by whatever your crime against humanity is and a whole state worth. Yeah. You'd be over that shit. Hey, yeah. Yeah, and then he was saying, like, the alphas would rise out of those, like, Oh, states fuck, that's shit. true. <laughs> Sketch, you'd just be breeding, like, yeah. alpha criminals. Yeah. Good God. <laughs> they would rise from the ashes. Oh, and then they're just like, actually, we're all homies. We don't got to fight like this. We have a whole state's worth of people just like us. Sketch. Yeah, yeah bad idea. Back to bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Everything just circles from, like, pretty good idea to horrible idea. Huh. It's just like uh, an endless uh, cycle. No, 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 no. <laughs> Goes back to no, 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 no. Hmm. <laughs> all right, all right. Put that back. Put that back. <laughs> oh yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why did you touch that? <laughs> That's that like Indiana Jones shit. Like you're trying to replace the golden like sacred That's temple exactly. item with That's the bag the, of sand. And That's shit. the mental image I had when I said that for sure. Like, oh, you grab the golden egg, and then all of a sudden, the fucking. Boulders rolling in on you and shit. Uh -huh. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Super hard. Dude, that's like a metaphor for life. Uh -huh. <laughs> Was that Spielberg? Fuck Steven Spielberg. Creep. <laughs> Spiel Spielberg. You're a Steven Spielberg enthusiast in 2023. That dude was, uh. He was in there. I don't know. Chill, bro. I don't know what, what he was doing, though. He was doing on some the island. shit. Related to being in there, as you say. He was on the island. The infamous. That's scary. Bro. Jeffrey Island. <laughs> he was on the list. So was a uh, 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 just a long list. Phil Collins was on the list. All right, you fucking just chill right there. Now I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even really care about Phil Collins. It's just this shit is disturbing, bro. All right. You could only be into some shenanigans. Even if you didn't touch anybody on the island. Chances are you were into some funky stuff, bro. Yeah. Hey, that's such <laughs> dude, a weird, dude, weird that, zone. Fuck it. it I, I don't know. I, I'll tell you after. Whatever. Huh, after the pod. Yeah. Because I don't want to just be referencing other podcasts on here. Or I don't know. Fuck it, dude. On war mode. This one was like, they always talk about Jeffrey Epstein shit. Or at least in older episodes, I think. But, uh. He talks about, like, yeah, at some point, fucking uh, Jeffrey Epstein wanted to impregnate, like, 20 different women. And then, because supposedly Jeffrey Epstein had an egg-shaped dong. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, yeah, Jeffrey Epstein wanted to impregnate 20 different women or some shit. And then the other dude's like, with the egg? <laughs> <laughs> the egg-shaped The dong. egg, bro. So fucking sketch. Sketch. Dude, imagine if you whipped your shit out just a straight egg, bro. <laughs> bro, that is some nutty ass shit. Bro. Hell, good googly hell, <laughs> an egg. Hell, <laughs> oh hell, <laughs> oh shit, bro. <laughs> 
wake up one day and it's just shaped like an <laughs> egg. Oh, God dang it. Uh, <laughs> I got an egg. <laughs> oh, there's an egg. Oh, crud. Huh, That's... you're born. You're you're reincarnated, and then by the time you're, like, old enough, you're like, fuck, I got an egg. You're just reincarnated as the egg. <laughs> you're like, son of a bitch. Huh? Some guy's egg. Just an egg. <laughs> An appendage. <laughs> you're just an appendage in your next life. <laughs> like how people believe, like this arm isn't mine. That's a real thing. That's and some spooky they stuff. Cut the arm off, and so they like, feel ultimate relief. Yeah, That's creepy as hell. Wild. You already know there's like a certain percentage of those homies that are like, "Fuck, cut the wrong arm." <laughs> <laughs> oh, they cut the wrong. <laughs> They cut the wrong arm. They just placed the left one where the right one was. They're like, you'll be all right, buddy. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so burnt out. <coughs> you just get them reversed. Get Pretty sure. with just yeah. reversed. With enough fucking surgical equipment, I'm pretty sure you could just make a straight up Frankenstein. Shit's disturbing, bro. Franken. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's done it. I mean, somebody's probably read that book and was like, for right. sure. I'm sure the Nazis like with at all one the, point yeah, were like, sure, yeah, we're going to get like all these like dead bodies and just trying to make like a, a Not soldier. Not even dead, bro. Think of how many people go missing every year. That's true. Never to be found again, just missing off the face of the earth. They're Pretty definitely shocking. like just making Frankensteins out of those holes. Yeah. So creepy. Like they probably like, dude. I don't even know. Let's just go into hypotheticals. Huh. But imagine, like, if my brain could go there, then an evil motherfucker's brain has gone there 50 sure. times over and probably figured out a way to make figured it happen. It out, yeah. But, like, they probably put, like, a young person's heart into a really old person to see if it could sustain that transition it type shit. It definitely does. Shit is disturbed, bro. That shit definitely works. Well, disturbed, I tell shit. you. And it's like, what, bro? Medical advancement. Like, yeah, dude, at the cost of a fucking missing person. Oh. Shit is fucking oh, disturbed. Gonna... Oh, dude. What the heck, mister? Yeah, you go look. ahead and fucking, yeah. Once we figure out brain transplants, that's when it's all over. It might get me one of those. So sketch. Imagine, like, that that concept gets, like, so far that they're like all right now we got like the cheap ones too <laughs> dude, it's like a fucking pig brain yeah i might have to settle for that dude by the time i'm 40 and shit like just give me the fucking pig brain <laughs> dude imagine like after years of genetic growth like the human the humanoid pig just like really looks like hum- like just like a human with like pig features yeah that one kind of fucks me up if you look at a pig long enough go ahead and look at a picture of a pig for a minute straight it's just looking like a human. you see the human already you're like what the fuck yeah it's pretty pretty fucking right. straight also too they're like hairless which is creepy i feel like that's kind of yeah. their or i guess when they're domesticated they're hairless but then they yeah. get furry if you leave them out but so, that's kind of like in my yeah. eyes like a a sign of how advanced they are the fact that they went hurt because humans are relatively hairless compared to chimps or whatever yeah so like it makes sense to me that a pig would also be like kind of oddly hairless with this nasty little tuft on his forehead bro mm. so fucking a yeah bro yeah <laughs> i've been eating bacon recently and huh. feeling pretty heathenous about it dude really? yeah but it's been so long that i was like whatever i can afford this for right now right. to like eat a little <laughs> bit of bacon but yeah I'm already kind of over it. Yeah, that's how it is sometimes. Whole meat industry's jacked, but something about that pig, bro. It's just, I can see something in its eye. (laughs) Something familiar. (laughs) (laughs) Say we're closely related to chickens. What the heck? I call fucking shenanigans, dude. That's what they say, that. Who? Science. Them, them, <laughs> them boys. Huh? Scientists. That's what Science. them boys said. Some statistics. That's how does that even work, though? Yeah, I don't understand that one. Chickens? Like, how? what's close? Closer than monkeys or something. Holy mackerel. Right. Now you got me thrown for a loop, dude. Oh, now my brain's been, working. It's been chickens all along. Bro. It's been chickens, yeah. bro. We we came out of the egg. Remember how they're like chicken or the egg? Bro? I mean, on that one, the <laughs> alien <laughs> fucked a chicken, <laughs> and yeah. then a he, little human fetus popped out. Yeah, and like that, like the alien fucked two or just like one chicken, and then two eggs popped out. It was like I'm, 
Adam and Eve. And then they fucking started life on Earth, dude. No, I'm just fucking around. Fuck. <laughs> 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 You got the visual. Yeah, the vision was there. You got the vision. Shit's disturbed. Vision was there. I had a uh, had a quick vision in my head the other day. Sweet Jesus, this one's pretty bad. But I got this fucked up planter's wart on my foot, (laughs) (laughs) and it it hurts real bad. And for some, I don't know why I thought of this, listeners, but I was just imagining like if someone had it because supposedly we all come from fungus, right? And uh, do you remember this meme a long time ago where it's like, imagine you jerked off into the shower for two years and then this fool crawls out. What are you going to do next? You remember that shit? And it's like some sort of like weird, like mermaid human. Uh, You ever seen that shit? (laughs) Damn, dude. It was a funny meme like five freaking years ago. (laughs) But basically it was like, if you jerked off into the shower and this weird aquatic animal was like born out of your semen. So I was imagining <laughs> like somewhere in my head, I connected that meme with my planters wart, and I was like, damn, what if I accidentally like jerked off into my, uh, cause I wear flip flops in the shower. Yeah. So I was like, what if I jerked off in the shower? Not that I do that. Don't ever do that. <laughs> All my young listeners jerking off in the shower is a big no, no, bro. That's just going to clog your shit up. Don't do it, dude. But if I did that and it accidentally, <laughs> if it accident, <laughs> if it accidentally, cl- um, if it accidentally touched my planter's wart and the like, the fungus of the planter's wart <laughs> mixed with that, yeah. and some sort of humanoid like fucking fungus character just started growing out of my foot, and I'm just oh, like, oh fuck, this is you. my, this is my fucking son now. <laughs> like, oh, no, kill me. Yeah. You're about to like kill it. You're like, I gotta like, like I gotta cut him. I just cut him off and start thing. hanging out with him. Damn. You're my son now. Huh. I Find fucking him in some dirt. Yeah, we just go to the fucking middle of the country and start digging for oil. Me and this this foot spawn. Huh. That's the type of thoughts I'm having in the day. Foot, digging foot for spawn. Oil. I had a kid out of my foot. That's a fucking nice thought that I had <laughs> recently. Shit's chill, bro. Super <laughs> chill. <laughs> but yeah, that shit would be messed up. <laughs> it was definitely born that thought was born out of the damn meme i'm gonna try to look it up after the after the cast i'll show you folks it's gonna be a tough one to google though like jerking right. off into shower <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, that was it <laughs> yeah <laughs> dang i got the wrong picture again <laughs> fuck yeah. shower meme but yeah it was a funny one it was a funny one yeah it's crazy what would you do, bro? What would I do? <laughs> nice. I'm just like trying to talk. It doesn't know any language. Does it? Oh my, that's that's a scary <laughs> thought to even have. It like it's picked up language. <laughs> like it has like the. It has all the same knowledge as you. Sketch. It's so gross, bro. But yeah, what if, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Shit's chill. What would you do, Sonny? Um, I don't know, but like this whole since we're talking about it, I felt like that. I seen that scene in my head where uh, Courage, the cowardly dog, or his his dad or his uh, his the owner, owner, gets like this big fucking like fungus on his foot. And just oh hanging shit! Out with him. <laughs> yeah. You know. Did that really happen? Foot, yeah. Or it's just that type it's just shit. Like his foot, it was yeah. Scenario. Yeah. yeah. That really happened in Courage, the cowardly dog. Yeah. yeah. That's feet, fucking like, genius, start, the bro. The toes start talking and shit. What the hell? It already happened. That's insane. Yeah, they all have like little faces on them and shit. Goes to show <laughs> how fucking how original and ahead of the curve I am. That shit happened in a '90s TV show. Right. That's yeah. sick as fuck. I've seen that. Man. I was like, holy shit! It just reminded me of that. Like, Dang, like, that's epic, dude. We hit full circle on that one. That's sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, courage. We might have to call it after that, dude. That's fucking ending on a high note. If you're still listening by now, you're damn near probably sick in the head. (laughs) (laughs) Let's cut this bitch. We've been going far beyond an hour, dude. We fucking hit this one with flying colors. You want to say... Let's hit a fucking track track on the way out, out, dude. dude. Some music on the way out. Oh, Oh, what the the heck? That was the sound of my leg breaking. Ouch. Could bring a phone